What's going on my average gamer? Superman Ryan here and we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and today ladies and gentlemen we have some awesome new shit. I know it's probably gonna be the second upload of today but I really just want to get this uploaded today because the event came out today and that would just... But if you're an avid gamer of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links then you know an update just came out in which Yami Bakura is back. Yami Bakura is back in the Duel World and not only that but he's come with some new friends and some new gems first what i want to talk about today is the new gems and the new cards in the card trader the card trader did have a little bit of an update where we have new ex gems that you can get from dueling bakura and not only can you get them from dueling bakura but it seems like these gems are going to be coming with every special event and they're going to give us exclusive stuff like the big shield gardener Again, for those of you that have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links for a while, you know Big Shield Gardener was no longer available in the game, which is one of the reasons why it's so amazing that he is back. You really want to get this card if you don't have him already, or if you have two of them, you really want to get him. It does cost 300 gems, which is quite a bit. However, it's still worth it. Now, we also have a new fiend type, Arch Fiend Empress, which is coming straight from the Bakura event. You can farm this card from the Bakura event, or you can buy it here in the card trader. So, Archfiend Empress is a 2900 attack, 2100 defense effect Dark Fiend type, whose effect says if exactly one face-up Dark Fiend type monster on the field, except this card would be destroyed, you can remove from play one Dark Fiend type monster in the graveyard. Instead, when this card is destroyed and set from the field of the graveyard, you can select one level 6 or higher Dark Fiend, mo Dark Fiend type monster in your graveyard except Archfiend Empress and Special Summon it. Meaning, anything, whether it's by battle, by card effect, no matter what, if exactly one of your Fiend type monsters is going to be destroyed and you have Archfiend Impressed on your side of the field, then you can banish one Fiend type monster from your graveyard, remove it from play, and that monster is safe. Now it also says that when Archfiend Empress is destroyed, you can special summon one level 6 or higher fiend type monster from your graveyard, except for Archfiend Empress, which in my opinion is actually pretty good. We also have the Trans Archfiend back. Bad reaction. Bad reaction to Samochi is back yet again. And we also have a new trap card. Fiend Griefing. Fiend Griefing is a rare card, so it's going to be pretty easy to get a hold of it, but if you're running a Fiend-type deck, this card is probably going to be a must for right now. Let's see, it's a normal trap card. Again, it's a rare. It says, target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Shuffle it into the deck. Then you can send one Fiend-type monster from your deck to the graveyard. And we also have Dark Lord Marie. Oh my gosh, my Facebook is blowing up. My phone is blowing up, period, per usual, because it only blows up when I'm recording actually insane but the reason i'm showing dark lord marie right now instead of the other card that you may have seen it's new i'm showing this because that trap card fiend griefing works wonders with this card because not only are you going to be able to remove one fiend not remove i shouldn't say remove not only are you going to be able to take one fiend type monster from your opponent's graveyard and add it back to their tech add it back to their deck like like dark necro fear but you can also send your dark lord marie to the graveyard and Dark Lord Marie's effect says once per turn during your standby phase you can gain 200 life points. This card must be in the graveyard to activate and resolve this effect. Meaning, you can take Dark Lord Marie's center straight to your graveyard and then you gain an extra 200 life points per turn. And we also have the Goddess of Whim, a 950 attack, 700 defense, very light effect monster, 3 stars once per turn. You can toss a coin and call it heads or tails. If you call it right, double this card's attack during this turn. If you call it wrong, half the attack of this turn, of this card for this turn. So basically, it's not really all that great in my opinion. Now that is going to be a 1900 attack monster. If you call it right, 1900 attack fairy. But you have to call it right and it only works for your turn. Now as you can see, here's the rest of the cards of the card trader. They are all the normal gems that you would normally get. Uh, so the, in my own personal opinion, I don't know 100% for sure, but in my own personal opinion, these these cards right here that take the EX gems, they're only going to appear during a um, during an event. I may be wrong about that, but I feel like they're only going to appear during an event, and they are going to be event exclusives. Uh, and I do not think that they're going to go over in this area 
for the normal gems. I think that these are just going to be the cards that used to be in the card trader, but they got cycled out. And this is just a way to put them back in. But Big Shield Garden, I'm so hyped about that. Now, actually, I think I probably have a couple of gems. Yes. As you can see, this is where you get your EX gems. You, do, you get them by beating the special missions. Win one duel against Yabba Bakura at level 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Win 20 duels against them, 40, 30, 60 duels against them. It's the best way that I can think of to grind these gems. But you also get them from dueling Bakura. Now, I don't know if you get them from dueling Bakura just straight out. If it has to be a level 40 or if it's only from him as far as the gems go. Now I haven't beat I haven't beat Bakura other than level 10, so I don't have a specific uh, grinding deck for him yet. I will get that in a later video. So if you're new to the channel and you want to see that, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as that video goes live. But these are the cards that you can get from Bakura. It's the same old, same old cards it looks like. Earl of Demise, yada yada yada, Electric Lizard. Um, they did add Fiend Griefing in there, but I feel like that's the only new card that they added in there. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Event page. Event page. Let's see, because I do want to show you this. Now, as you can see, it's every 5,000 points. Every 5,000 points. First, it starts out at every 2,500 points, but then it goes up to every 5,000 points you're going to get a reward, which is really actually a lot, a lot of gems a lot of dual orbs a lot of gold that's really really great and then obviously you know you'll get your normal monsters you get your ur gems uh, i believe it's 200,000 points that you unlock yami bakura if you don't have them unlocked already did add the new trap card in another chance to get another dark necro fear And then there's the Archfiend Empress over here at 3 million points. That is a lot. That is a lot. But I wanted to make this quick video for today. I'm not going to end the video right here, so don't click off the video yet. But I did want to make this quick video today just to kind of go over some of this stuff. What we're going to do right now is we're just going to duel them at level 20 really quick. We might duel them at level 30 and 40. We'll run out of the dice. Maybe we might do a ranked match. So... As always, ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comment section below. Are you excited about this event? Are you glad that it's back? Do you have Yami Bakura? And if not, do you plan on getting it? I myself personally do have Yami Bakura. I don't use him very often, but it's always nice to get those extra cards that they give you when you do unlock it. Plus, that's more gems if you level them up. So, in my own personal opinion, if you don't have Yami Bakura, just grind it out and get him. It's not going to be too difficult to get 200,000 points and unlock him. And like I said, guys, that's free cards, free gems. You're going to be Gucci, yo. I'll pulverize you. And we are going to use our normal old dragon deck. Again, I don't have a deck set up yet to beat him at level 40. I'm probably going to use somewhat of the same deck I used the last time he was here. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. But I do feel like I'm probably most likely going to use, again, somewhat of the same deck that I used. We're just going to have to wait and see. So we're going to start out by summoning our Flame Veil in attack position 1900 attack with Mountain on the field. Yo, it is hot in here. It is like extremely, extremely hot in here right now. Yama's yeah, going to end with one card face down and one monster in defense position. Go ahead and summon my Vanguard of the Dragon. I really need to get... Uh, another one of these at least one more i'd like to get two more but i really need to get at least one more and we're going to attack with our flame veil because of its effect it's going to take some damage because of the let's see how much is it going to take 200 so 200 points for every level that monster is it's not piercing damage but it's the next best thing and then ooh, what is that actually only monster players attack negate the attack select another face up monster your controls ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I mean, it's, it, it didn't really say in return, but, you know, it is the NPC, it's the computer, he's going to do whatever he wants to do, and, you know, we just kind of deal with it. I am, however, a little bit disappointed, though. I'm a little bit disappointed that we're 
back Yami Bakura. I really would have rather than just... If they're not going to give us anybody new, I really would have rather they just kept it at Moku. But I didn't get to get all three of the Dark Flare Dragons or all three of the Kid Moto Dragons that I wanted. I did get two Kid Moto Dragons, and I did get one Dark Flare Dragon. Um, but if they're just going to give us the same old guy with... with one or two new cards, and that's gonna be it. I really would have rather than just kept it at Mokuba and let us grind out a little bit more. I really want them to bring Merrick in the mix. Oh my gosh, I really want Merrick in the mix. <sighs> Hurry up, Konami. Give me Merrick. Give me Merrick! That's what we all want. That is what we all want. As always, I don't want to say as always, because I don't always do it, but for those of you that are subscribed to the channel, I do want to say this right now. There is a new game coming to the channel. Uh, I know we just tested out Hearthstone. It got some pretty good, it got some pretty good uh, 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 reactions from everybody. Everybody seemed to kind of like it. I'm going to continue to play that on a, on a fairly regular basis, uh, but there is a new... Sword Art Online mobile game that I want to try out on the channel. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see that or if not. Uh, but I do think that I'm probably going to try that out here on the channel for at least one or two videos and just kind of see what everybody thinks and how everybody likes it. It seems like Bakura is running the same exact deck that he ran on the last... Of, uh, the last time he was here as an event special. So if you already have a deck that works out really well against grinding against Bakura, I would suggest using that same deck. But if you need something that's going to step the game up just a little bit, or you don't have a deck at all because maybe you're new to the game, and you haven't grinded at Bakura yet, again, I will do a video about it here within the next day or two. Um... Uh, showcasing what deck I'm going to be using to grind out him. That is an actual trash hand. Am I going first? No, he's going first. Okay, that works for me. Uh, can I draw blue eyes, like, right here? No. Shard of Greed's not bad, though. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Shard of Greed. I'm going to throw my two security orbs face down. I'm going to throw my Kid Moto Dragon face down in defense position, and we're going to call that a turn for now. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm batch recording a lot of videos right now uh, over the last, the course of the last few days to try to keep up with the one video a day and the two videos for today. Uh, so I apologize yet again if my audio quality is not all that great. I still have yet to get the core for my new mic. So just kind of bear with me. Bear with me. Thank you all for being so patient. Switch him into defense position. Now can we draw blue eyes? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these two cards face down. And then we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Oh, it's so hot. I'm like legit sweating. My cousin, we just had a big storm here uh, a couple of days ago. And the storm just ruined my cousin's um, electrical box in his, in his house, which means his AC went out and everything. I had an extra window unit I had in my bedroom to, to keep this room nice and cool because of the heat that comes off of this big giant light, but I decided to let him borrow it until he got all his stuff figured out, and now this light is just killing me. It's so hot. Okay. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and take him out, and then I'm going to special summon Kid Moto, or uh, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon here in attack position. I really need to get rid of that Ectoplasma. I really hate Ectoplasma. It's just such a pain in the butt. Such a pain in the butt. We're going to go ahead and draw a card. Ooh, and that helps right there, yo. Twister is perfect for that. No, I don't want to activate that. Okay. We're going to Twister this bad boy. And actually, the Flame Veil works out 
wonderful for that as well. Because now, not only is he going to be able to do piercing damage, but he's also going to be able to do damage based on the level. And he's got 500... 500. He's got 5 stars, so that's going to be 1,000 points of damage. On top of the 1,200 for the piercing damage, and then the 3,200 for the direct attack. And I think we got it, boys. This is going to end right now. So 1,200 plus 1,000, 2,200. We are Gucci. Absolutely Gucci. Oh, I'm just dying of heat over here. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, you want to see more videos like this, consider hitting that like button to show your support. Remember to support. The more support you show, the more videos like this we will do. And, and if you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Get awesome shit like this coming out of the daily. So join the average gaming army. I'll take you. I promise. I'll take you. Hey, I'll take you. 3,300 points plus the times 7 multiplier, I want to say. Let's say that was a times 7, so this would be a good 10,000 points. Over 10,000 points. It's over 10,000! Go gather your dice. 23,000. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh. Boom. 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 Now we can battle him at level... 40. Fortunately, I don't think that I'm going to have enough dice, so I'm going to have to cut the video here for just a quick second. And, uh, gather some more dice up. We will see. How much more do I need? I think I have to have 30. 30 dice, right? 40. I'm going to have 40 dice. So, instead of doing that, I'm actually just going to end the video here, and in the next Duel Links video, I will probably have my, my deck for specifically grinding out this Bakura. I'll have that all set up, I'll have it all ready for you, and we'll do that there. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to have a very, very beautiful day, and remember to keep it Gucci. Peace.